Okay, uh, this lesson is about synoptic charts and our goal is to learn how to read these synoptic charts. So final lesson, you can obviously read the synoptic chart and look at the um, areas of low and high pressure and then to, know, to know, um, the different patterns of those, those air movements. So synoptic charts, they're also called weather maps and they're the ones that we see on the news every single day and they show changes in weather. Um, weather is the changes in the atmosphere that affect us immediately and they do change by the second, by the minute, by the hour, every single day of the year. They usually um, show locations of places, so obviously we have a very general one or Australia every day and then we have a local one depending on the different types of news and, and um, weather forecasts. So um, they show locations and we predict weather based on air pressure. Air pressure is the force of air pushing down the earth. There's two different types of pressure, high and low. Um, low pressure we normally get very settled weather conditions. There are There is low moisture in the air, so therefore we have um, clear skies, a uh, few clouds, whereas um, low pressure does bring about unsettled weather and there is um, moisture in the air. So what do they look like? As I said before on the last slide, we've got obviously locations. So here we've got the whole of Australia. Um, and then those squiggly lines are the same areas of pressure. So as you can see, we've got a big high pressure forming over most of Australia. How do we know if the pressure is high or low? Well, if we look at the, the numbers, they go from low to high into the middle that's where we get high pressure low pressure is the opposite it goes from um, high to low numbers um, those lines are actually called iso bars and they show um, similar um, pressure um, readings um, so that's why we join them up so um, how do we get those pressure readings? Well, there's different weather stations around and we, um, we work out what the pressure is at those um, weather stations and then we can plot out similar lines of pressure and that's where we can join those big lines up. Then we pull them onto a bigger map, like the one we've got here, and we can see um, what they are. So that's what an isobar is. And as, I, as you can see from this synoptic chart, we've got a big area of high pressure. Now, the, on this map, we do have these lines with triangles. Um, they are fronts. Now, when we've got a blue one normally, if it's not in color, the shape helps us, the triangular, that's a cold front. And if we look at um, a red line with circular um, red um, shapes, that is a warm front. So what you can see there is that a cold front is coming in um, from the southwest going north um, east. Um, how do I know that? Well, the triangles point in the direction of the movement of air. Um, so, what does that mean? A cold front means there's up and up and coming colder um, air moving in. Um, and a warm front is where we're going to have more warmer air moving in. So there is going to be a change of weather. Okay, that's what um, a weather um, map or synoptic chart, chart shows. Um, isobars and level, uh, levels of pressure.